My name is Jill Brantley. I am a mixed media artist. I have been a member of the Art League for 23 years. My Art League membership was the catalyst for most of my artistic endeavors, and I am the artist that I am today because of the wonderful classes and teachers available to the public through the Art League School. As I recall, my painting, then, began from an image of a room in a magazine. I liked the shape of the couch and the chair. They seemed to talk to each other. They needed a coffee table friend. For some reason, the one that came to mind was the kidney-shaped coffee table that was in my parents' living room when I was growing up. That table was the springboard for the narrative of this painting, which is an ode to several childhood memories of mine connected to articles that surrounded my parents and other relatives as they lived their lives. As in my painting, one of my grandmothers covered the cushions of her sofa and chair in her parlor with plastic to keep them clean for when guests would visit. The shag rug and funky 50s lamp pays homage to items in my father's study. The Asian image on the wall, sandwiched between two pieces of black velvet, reminiscent of vintage Elvis paintings done on velvet, is a tribute to my Uncle Walter, a Navy flyer in the Korean War, hence the American flag there on the wall also. The window fabric is some of the actual 50s fabric used in my parents' living room curtains. The console is a nod to the blonde wood furniture that was popular at the time. The wooden ceiling fan reminds me about how I grew up without air conditioning. The little black telephone was, of course, a landline. And then there is the stylish lady returning home through the door with her packages. I vividly remember how my mother, grandmother, and aunts would dress up when they went downtown to shop. Always a dress, stockings, nice shoes, and of course a hat, frequently embellished with a little bit of netting. I love to see them return with their packages in lovely boxes not just in paper or plastic like today. Then brings together memory, many memories of my early childhood. It was a special time and in many ways a much simpler time. Thank you for listening and being interested in the history of my painting then. Hi, I'm Darren DeCesar. I've been a member of the Art League since 1992, exhibiting watercolors, dry point prints, drawings, and most recently, mixed media figurative works on paper. In the piece Walking Stick, I used charcoal and pastel to draw an older gentleman named Joe while he sat in front of me for an hour. The background, which the figure at turns recedes into and projects from, was executed in watercolor using predominantly greens and complementary burgundy tones applied with vigorous abstract energy. Despite the visual noise and static which surrounds and permeates the aged man, he demonstrates a perhaps hard-earned capacity to tune it out. He remains perfectly still, seemingly lost in thought or even dozing off, conserving his strength for whatever future challenges life still has in store for him. My name is Elise Rajanovich. I am a painter and I have been an Art League member for about eight years. This painting, entitled Winter, is influenced by minimalism and Eastern art. I hope to capture something serene, emotive, and perhaps thought-provoking. The landscape is partly based on a real scene in Lublin in Eastern Poland. My name is Lisa Lauhapan, and I've been with the Art League for about two years. I paint in acrylics and I often use masking tape to form the geometric shapes in my paintings. I think using the tape provides me a puzzle, so every painting challenges me to create a moment in time using just geometric shapes. This painting is called Spinnaker, and to me it says summer. I've created a bright blue sky behind the awning of a seaside hotel that I visit almost every year. The bright colors and sharp edges really remind me of a crisp, sunny summer morning. I hope you enjoy it. Finished with a patina giving it a unique and aged appearance, I investigate the female torso by abstracting it into fragmented pieces. By fragmenting the torso, 
Each figure becomes a social commentary on how our society views and expects a woman to behave in postmodern society. The intentional admissions in the torso serves as a powerful metaphor symbolizing the fragmented existence experienced by numerous women in postmodern society. Through my artistic endeavors, I explore the issues of gender stereotyping and challenge the Western mindset that undermines and devalues women's moral experiences. This metaphor speaks to the struggles that many women face in trying to balance their own desires and ambitions with the expectations of those around them. The pressures to conform to certain behaviors and attitudes has left many women feeling fragmented and incomplete, as if their bodies and minds are torn apart. Hi, my name is Leslie Thornton, and I've been associated with the Art League since 2017, and I generally paint in acrylic and mixed media. My work over the past several years has been rooted in shapes, color, and texture. This piece, my favorite chair, veers a bit from my usual work. While I'm not typically a floral painter, I loved creating it, as it's quite different, and it challenged me. It's got a modern loose feel to it while also paying tribute to the past with the antique chair behind and, of course, color. Traditional style meets modern, my favorite decor. I'm thrilled to be a part of this show. Thank you so much for visiting and listening. Hi, my name is Dan O'Sullivan and I like to paint in oil on canvas and I take photographs with my Nikon D750 camera. This piece for the July 2023 show was taken on a mild day in the early autumn near Connemara in the west of Ireland. This bright blue rowboat waits to take its own route to catch some of the best tasting fish in the world. The piece has significance to me because I grew up as a child and into my late teens uh, going on holidays to the west of Ireland and I took the piece with that Nikon D750 camera, a macro lens, and with great afternoon light. Hello, I'm Stephen Borco, a photographer that's been a member of the Art League for less than a year. My photo, Breakers Bar, was taken at the seafood bar in the Breakers Hotel in Palm Beach, Florida, at 10 in the morning. I noticed empty martini glasses on the bar with their stems and clouds reflected on the bar and the Atlantic Ocean in the background. The empty glasses appeared to have olives in them when in fact they were empty. I thought the combination of sky, ocean, and reflected stemware to be irresistible, so I took this shot. Hello, this is Mac DeHager. I'm a member of the Art League. I started my painting career at the Art League about 20 years ago, and I have been a member of the Art League since then. It's been a great help in uh, not only my learning art, art and watercolor, but also the friendships that I've made during the time I've been a member here. My painting, um, After the Storm, is an example of the wonders of watercolor. I was hoping to paint plein air at River Farm near Mount Vernon. I headed out there from Bethesda. When I got there, the sky was very cloudy and uh, there was a thunderstorm. So I was quite upset and I was angry and the anger surprisingly shows through in the painting. However, the storm was short-lived and suddenly there was bright light, a happy note, and that's why you see the bit of yellow on the, in the left-hand lower part of the painting. That's the beauty of watercolor. I'm indebted to the master instructors at the Art League I worked with, Gwen Bragg, Susan Heron, Peter Ulrich, and most recently, Susan O'Neill. They are wonderful teachers and good friends. Thank you. <laughs>